Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed all related systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We have all the tools for you right here. So we're going to get started with our first video for the 2022 Major League Baseball season. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So it's a full slate of games for Sunday, April the 17th, but we'll take a look at just four of them, and they're going to be games that will conclude weekend series. So let's go down through and take a look at the games that we want to feature for today. So you can see there's a full slate of games. We're going to scroll down through these until we reach the one that I want to preview. Here we go, the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins. The Phillies head to Florida to face the Marlins in the final game of their series. Zach Wheeler is set to pitch for the Phillies versus Elisa Hernandez for Miami Marlins. The Phillies are averaged down at the moment. You can see that they're coming off of two losses in a row after uh, a win previous to that, and they are 3-3 three and three so far this season, while the Marlins are dead status and they have lost their last three. If you look at the over-under so far, the Phillies have been involved in games over the line in two of their four games, while the Marlins have been under the line in all four of their games. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. We will see here that the Phillies are at plus 9. They were up at plus 21 on April the 12th with a couple game losing streak dropped them. And the Marlins are at 0. The score predictor has the Phillies by a 7 and nothing margin, a shutout by a uh, confidence in prediction of almost 80%, so it's a very high level of confidence as well. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see that Hern uh, Hernandez has been a very poor bet at minus $621, while Zach Wheeler is a very good bet for the Phillies at positive $290. So overall, I think this is definitely a game where the Phillies should prevail. Um, they have had trouble with the Marlins in the past, however, but I think Wheeler is a much more dominant pitcher, and I feel like the Phillies will win this game rather easily, but I would avoid the over-under bet. The Giants and Indians, Tigers and Royals. You can see, like I said, it's a full slate of games. This will be a very good matchup right here. The St. Louis Cardinals and the Milwaukee Brewers. In this NL Central battle, both teams are entering the contest burning hot. You can see the Cardinals have won five out of their six meetings this season, while the Brewers are coming off of a two-game winning streak, and they have won three out of their last four. Dakota Hudson set to pitch for the Cardinals, while the Brewers have not yet named their starting pitcher for this game. The power ranking indicator shows that the Cardinals were at plus 24 back on April 10th, and they dipped. In just two days, they dipped down to 14, while the Brewers are at plus 13. See that the Cardinals have been involved in games over the line in two out of their four games, while the Brewers have been involved in games over the line in three out of their last five. So this is a good indication that this could be a higher scoring game, but let's take a look at the score prediction. And you can see here, yes. If this whole truth would be a very high scoring game and definitely over the line, 8 to 7 in favor of St. Louis, with confidence and prediction of 71%. In the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see Dakota Hudson is a good bet at plus $985. Very solid bet, very profitable. I like the Cardinals in this one to win by a few runs, and I like the game to go over the line. Tampa Bay and Chicago. The next one we want to look at is the Los Angeles Angels and the Texas Rangers. In this AL West battle, you can see that the Angels are burning hot at the moment, winners of their last two and three out of their last five, coming off of two straight wins over the Marlins, while the Rangers are ice cold down, losers of four out of their last six games and two straight to the Colorado Rockies. Jose Suarez is set to pitch for the Angels, while Martin Perez is headed to the mound for the Texas Rangers. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see which pitchers are good bets in this one. And you can see here, right there, Suarez is at minus $676, a very poor bet, as is uh, Perez at minus $990. So you're not going to bet this game based off of the pitcher's performances. We're going to look at the team overall. And right now, first of all, let's take a look at the over-under. You can see that the Angels have been involved in games under the line in their last three, while the Rangers have been over in three out of their four, 
This could be an indication to avoid the over-under bet, but let's take a look at the score prediction. If you look at the score prediction, 11-6 to 6 in favor of the Angels with a confidence of prediction of nearly 82%. This would indicate a high-scoring game going over the line. Um, I really kind of believe in the same thing with this one. I like the Angels on the road. They're just a better team right now, and I think this will be a high-scoring game. Rangers by about three runs in a game going over the line. The Cubs and the Rockies, this could be a high-scoring game. We're not going to take a look at this one, but Colorado always produces a lot of runs. Um, Cincinnati and Los Angeles Dodgers. The last one we want to look at is the Houston Astros and the Seattle Mariners. Another AL West battle. The Astros come in average status. They have won four of their last six games. We take a look at this. They're coming off of a loss of 3-2 to two to Arizona. While the Mariners are ice cold down, they have lost their last four. And are just two and four over their last six. Jose Acquiti is set to pitch for the Astros, while Matt Grash is set to pitch for the Seattle Mariners. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see Houston is at plus 25. They jumped up from plus 12. And you look at the Mariners; they were at plus 25 back on the 20, uh, back on the 10th, just a few days ago, and they have dipped to plus six after their recent skid. You can see that Houston has been under the line in three out of the last six, or excuse me, in the last three games. Washington has been in games over the line in two out of their last five. The score prediction has Houston by a six to one margin with 63% level confidence. This would be, it's an iffy call as far as whether to go over or under the line. I would probably avoid the over under bet. Let's take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator next. You can see that Brash is at minus 105 in a very small sample size, but he is at minus 105. And Riquiti is at plus 471, so he has been a very solid bet. I like Houston to win this one again. Better overall team, better pitcher. I think they will win and cover, but I would avoid the over-under. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for April 17th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.